This is very true. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> so, I um. Joel. Change camera. Pick up my pencil and we're good to go. So the horizon is about two thirds of the way up. So I'm just going to do a fairly faint wavy line. Get that in. And then the next important thing is the weir. So very vaguely starts just in from the left, it goes up and sharply cuts across like that. Bottom of the bridge is about here. And that line just rises up a little bit and then comes back down again. So the, the bridge more or less forms the visible horizon to the left. I'm going to spend long on this. But it does, it, it does reach halfway across. And I can see uh, one, two, three, four and a half arches. Three, just one more. And they do diminish slightly from left to right. Some trees. Don't don't um, elaborate on these buildings. Church spire. Couple of buildings here that are catching the light. They might be worth putting in. The rest I'm not too worried about. I'll just bring this water's edge down a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but that's um, that's all we need, I think. Some of you may have drawn this already, some may not. I do find that if you 
draw in a lot of detail which may not be necessary you you tend because you've drawn it you you paint it you you follow the lines and you get hopelessly bogged down in distant detail that doesn't add to the picture so we'll see how we go on with that Okay, I can see some of us still drawing. So another minute. We'll be wetting the paper. I like to leave my paper unattached to the sides and it just so I can lift it to wet it on the underside if it starts to curl up. If you're painting on a block, that's probably taking care of the, the problem. Uh, sometimes you can stretch your paper, which is perfect. But I tend not to bother. I don't think it's entirely necessary and it also just makes the paper you're painting on just too valuable. You've already invested all that time into stretching it and it becomes a bit precious and it affects your performance, I think. Nothing better than if you've made a total mess, you just chuck it away, put a new piece down or, do, or turn it over. If you've stretched it and it's there, you're stuck with it. Right, so. Let's uh, wet the paper. I've got, a, I've got my volume on bounce spray. I'll put a bit on the back side in anticipation. And it stayed nice and flat. But when you wet it both sides, it does stay wet for quite a long time. So the top left, I'm thinking it's a lovely peachy colour that I got. A bit of tiny bit of cadmium lemon. A little bit of orange. A bit of scrap paper here. And that will do. And then at the other end, let's have some ultramarine.
ultramarine and pen's grey. So they work, work well together. So they're mixing in nicely. There's no green fringe. So it's very pale. Mix the blue grey in. We take it down underneath the higher horizon line because that's very dark, it will cover it nicely. Now, I'm just encouraging these two colours to merge in together. There is a hint of um, violet. I'll just try that. I'll let you know. Tiny bit. It's of no consequence really. I need to dark this, darken this guy down a little bit. So if it hasn't merged in evenly, just you can just encourage it a little bit with your uh, clean paintbrush, just just a little bit damp, not a dry paintbrush. Okay, I think that's all right. When we put the darker clouds on, that will change the sky dramatically. So if you're worried about your, your sky, don't be. Just lightening it slightly. the bottom part of the right hand side. Now, while that's drying, we're going to do a similar treatment to the water, but it will be just um, background colour, the base colour. Because we'll be painting over it extensively. So 
if you've still got those original colours on your palette you've got the yellow and the orange So the weir, as it tumbles over, has still got a bit of the, the warm reflection from the sky. But on the other side of the weir, it's almost white, but not quite. Very pale bluey grey. Ah, just drop some water on my sky. That was clumsy of me. Now, I know this sky will never be the same again. If you do anything to a wash, it's always visible. That is annoying, anyway. Never mind. So this very pale bluey grey. I don't think there's any part of the water that is white. You might think so. So that's the colour of, of surf, but not when there's no daylight, it isn't. So. so it looks strange. You've just got to have faith and uh, think of what it's going to be like, hopefully. Oh dear. Nice. Now, at this stage, we're thinking, or we should be thinking, how can we take advantage of this sky here being just slightly damp and I'm thinking these trees could take advantage of that so they're very dark so French ultramarine and sepia. Tiny bit of yellow, too much yellow, more sepia. Now I've mixed up enough paint for a forest, but never mind. So that's looking nice. Now 
don't know if you can see that because so there is a reflection um, might be better so um, so you've got to be careful if the if the sky was really wet this would be zooming upwards it's a, it's a tad damper than I wanted but it's okay and there's some trees going more or less right across there so I'm going to do a line only because I'm getting this very pleasing wetting wet Okay, so if you don't achieve this, don't worry. It's um, and you get a, and you get a sharp edge to your trees. It doesn't matter. It was just an opportunity. So I've got a big puddle of tree colour here, which I'll I'll save. Let's do the bridge. It has got some colour to it, and it shouldn't have. You can't, you can't trust photo editors these days to uh, show things as they really are. And that bridge against the setting sun would have photographed almost black. So let's go somewhere in between. This is uh, sepia, a tiny bit of yellow. I'm painting the, the bridge before the background because I wouldn't see the lines otherwise. Pencil lines. Tony, I'm sorry, I missed the mix of the colour you're using. On the bridge, um, yeah. sepia and a little bit of yellow. Thank you. Tony, can you talk so we go back to your picture, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that better? Um, one, two, three, four, and a half. One, two. 
sounds right. So the bridge at this end is darker. I'm uh, just adding a little bit of Lynn's grey. can see the uh, the insides of the arch it being it catching the light a little bit not so much this one Now we're coming across to these all these complications of buildings and trees and lights and things. I'm just going to paint a few shapes, dark shapes. I'm leaving a few gaps because I'll come back over it with a bit of pale paint later. Don't want to get bogged down with any detail, so rooftops. My paper is still wet here. Which I didn't want because I'd like these to be fairly sharp. Use the spire. Might be a church, but I don't think so. So I'm working my way down. Again with these dark grey and blue strokes to that building there which is fairly illuminated, so we'll come back to that. To green here and that murky green goes right down to the riverside so I'm leaving little windows here and there I'll come back with the paler paint I can do that as long as this is dried and I don't agitate it too much. It's 
right down to the water's edge. I'll just take an account of the shape of the weir. I'll put a bit of blue into this. So windows, first indication that these are buildings. Makes a huge impact straight away. And shop fronts, just blobby shapes. Right, back over here now, the bridge nearly dried, so let's get some background in. So this is my mucky green, I've watered it down a bit. Darkened it slightly there. Just avoiding these two touching, if possible. Now we've got a very slight reflection of the bridge. We only see half a reflection because the, the water's disturbed by something. And it gets quite dark here. Nothing recognisable much.
Maybe a little white line between these patches. Maybe not until later. So these essentially are just blobby shapes. Spots of cadmium orange, just random here and there. These are the street lights. In no particular place, but it will give us an excuse for some. Uh, Nice reflections later. Right, now the let's do the river from the bridge to the weir. It was wet, but it's dry now, so I'm just going to wet it again. Clean water. more green um, blue and yellow bit of brown and grey thrown in <laughs> So the water's picking this up immediately. Let's make it darker here. Did you put more water on? Sorry, Tony. I did. I missed I, that. I, yes, I wetted this uh, this half of the river. Right. Thanks. Now these reflections are quite dark over here, so I've added some. Pins grey. And that actually goes right down to the edge of the weir. It's a slightly uneven top to it. And this large reflection is caused by the trees in the distance. Let's pull some dark lines across.
so that the horizontal lines here indicate the serenity of this stretch of water and that will be sharply against the turbulence just over the weir Creating a nice sharp edge to that weir. And there are some distant trees above the bridge. There's some tall poplars there, which I'm not sure about. I'll decide later. So I've just pulled in a, a couple of lines across there with a dry brush. Okay, I'll just pause for a while. I think now might be a good time to do the clouds because it's going to get quite wet down here. Difficult to uh, bridge across. So. Dark bluey grey. I'm just making these up because they're not this sort of cloud in the 
original. It's also a good way of covering up my mess. So, long and narrow. Did you wet the paper first or not? No, I've let this dry, Victoria. This is yeah. now this is now wet on dry. Otherwise, they'd be much too fuzzy. I think uh, clouds like this have a quite a sharp, sharp edge. I don't want to overdo it. And if they're a bit too fierce, you can just dab them off. But make sure you're always using a clean piece of uh, kitchen roll. If you dab up and down, then you're a little bit transferring paint where you don't want it. I think that's okay. I managed to disguise my horrible mess there. We don't want the sky to attract too much attention anyway, so I think that's that's fine. So you'll see I've left the arches of the bridge unpainted and you might think that looks a bit odd, but that's simply so it gives me options later how I'll paint them in, in a sort of a mid earth colour. So you can still see them, but they're not, not too pronounced. Right, the water. Okay, let's make a start. But to do this in, in small patches, so this is just clean water, which you won't be able to see, but it's there. and not a mid blue something like that let's see how this goes a bit too wet at the moment so wet it and just dry it off So here's the water tumbling down the weir right in the distance. I've dried most of this water off, by the way.
so the, the water evens out just past the weir but it's still running fast so long streaks of foam please Adding more water. I've decided not to wet the paper anymore. I think, I think it's looking pretty good without it. So now we've got all these fluffy areas of foam coming down fairly steep. Seems to be working fairly well. Um, getting a bit too dark.
what I'm going to try is painting a fairly flat colour here and lifting out later. I'll tell you when I'm about to do that. This looks like there's a, a, a rolling body of foam here. It would appear to be stationary. Right, um, this portion of the weir has changed colour for obvious reasons. So now I've got raw sienna. I'm hoping I can erase my pencil line later. Right now, I wish it wasn't there. Right. So there's a weird turbulence here. I'm guessing it's uh, the structure of the weir underneath. It's giving it this ribbed look. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now we come to a, a line of very dark contrasty strokes. It's not too regimented, there are quite large breaks in it. Sorry, Tony, what colour are you using now? Oh, this is uh, the grey that was standing by from over here. Sort of a very dark. You've darkened it though, yeah. Okay. It is dark, yeah. Thank you.
We'll just zoom in a little bit. Darkening this down. In a fairly straight line. So this is the st structure of the weir underneath. Causing that to be aligned so. And it bends round as it comes towards us. Very Difficult to get the movement of the water like this. We're just doing our best to really, it's just a, a suggestion. At the moment, mine look like a load of horrible black fish trying to swim up to the top. Get back. Just added some water. Finger painting. Not when you're doing work like this, always pause and take a view because you can so easily overdo it and spoil it.
putting that tree in because I want to put the reflection in. So now this is dry, we can put some uh, hard reflections in, which are okay here and there. Just tidy up the uh, bridge parapets, which are no stain dark. And just a hint of a dark shadow. This is what I hinted at earlier, deciding what to do with these. These little white halos here and there. that it looks weird it shouldn't have done it uh, Just putting a little bit of colour into these big shapes. That will dry very much paler. Adding yet more vague shapes. This pile looks a mess.
So this, this is the lifting up I mentioned earlier. It's great if you can be bothered to do it. So this is virtually neat and raw sienna. Just catching the sun's reflections. Start right back there. Not working very well. I think it's not the paper's not dry. So it should be. Thank you. 
Oh, next one, Tess. Thank you. I haven't got the uh, shape of the weir right, I don't think. No. Um, why, just p put a few horizontal faint lines on the, on the water. Okay. Just, just to suggest that motion. Oh, okay. Charlotte. Charlotte, that's lovely. Oh, I can't hear you, you muted love. There's too much shadow here, but I'm quite pleased with the water. Yes, it's the water's superb. Thank you. Yeah, it's got a lot of power there. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Barry, you've done well there. That's lovely. I, I, I would suggest a few more uh, horizontal lines on the water here and there, very judiciously. Just, yeah. You know, just... Okay, thank you. Okay, then. Nice one, Lindsay. Oh, that's really yeah. good. Not enough blue, maybe. Really good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, hello, oh, smashing. I got I got a bit lost somewhere along the line, but I don't know whether I finished or not. Well, um, yeah, I can see now that I should have painted out my. I didn't go back over the bridge arches, and they're looking a little bit strange so i'm going to do that um but lynn you're you've almost got some um some mist rising from the agitated water it looks fantastic i don't know how you've oh, done wow. that. thank you more <laughs> luck than judgment <laughs> thank you okay oh there's some really nice ones anna yours are super oh thank you yes yeah, lovely And Janice, straighten it up, straighten it up, straight uh, face onto the camera. That's right. Okay. Yeah, you've got the message over there. Thank okay. you. It looks a sinister looking bridge. Thank <laughs> okay. you. And R20. Okay. Hi, yeah, How's it looking. Got some nice movement in the water there, Tony. And the sky looks excellent. Yes, yeah. that's one of my better, one of my better skies. That. Yeah. I have trouble with it. That's lovely. Cheers. That's good. It's really mm. good. Well done. Come on, Linda. You're waving it around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Really good. Okay. Thanks. Yes. And I'm, I'm just um, considering just reducing the, the crop on mine and bringing it in a bit. Um, I, it's better like that. I'll always, always give that uh, some consideration. There's a fairly strict crop sometimes does the trick. Um, uh, anybody else? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, Kirsty, let's look. Bring, bring it closer, closer to the camera. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I do. I love. Yeah, I love the way you've tr uh, treated the town as as just a jumble of shapes. That's the way to do it. That's how. You... Sort of, <laughs> that's where I got. That's where I got left oh. behind. I sort of stopped. <laughs> yeah, but you just you just. You've just uh, taken care of all the complications of a, of a town and all the all the things you worry about, you know, all the trees and the traffic. <laughs> no, just chips. Really good. Thank you. Okay. Are we done? Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you softies. Let's look, Natalie. Okay, you've you've got some colour in there, Natalie. Yeah, as always. Yes, and why not? Yeah. Looks okay. You you've got the message over. It's Silver River. It's uh, Victoria. How are you? Yeah, doing? I can't find myself on the screen. Uh, just oh no. I can see it. Just hold it up. Can you? Yes. 
Bring well, it. I can't see myself, so I can't. Mind. Bring it closer. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh. what point okay. I, well, I, can't, I can't see it very well, but the, the, the overall effect, it looks, the water looks a little bit unfinished, Victoria. Everything's a bit unfinished, actually. Okay. Okay. It's very disappointing. Well, Hang on. No, don't be disappointed. The sky is good, and as it comes down, it's looking more and more unfinished. So, oh, it, there I am. Yes, I've just found myself now. A few more minutes on the on the water, Victoria. Some, um, some more horizontal lines would be, yes. but not yes, too many. So. Okay, then they're too pale. Actually, everything's a bit too pale as well. I think. How did you, Barry? Not very well. Thanks, Barry. Oh, that's all right. That's nice, Barry. You've that got is. Some, you've got some nice contrast there. It all looks Very pretty good. good there, Barry. Well done. Thank you. Uh, you see, hiding your bushel. I always do. I always do. Whatever the expression is. <laughs> um. Oh, Vicky, that looks a lot of atmosphere there, Vicky. Oh, that's good. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't see it. Okay, no, I can see it. Super. No, 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 no. Oh, you look. Okay. I, thought it was, I was going to put it in the bin. I love that, Vicky. Nicely done. Oh, you're joking. I was, I was going to put it in the bin. I wasn't going to show it. Thank you very much. Bit of um, confidence booster. Okay, do. Mm -hmm. Hello, Anne. You're, you're, you're in half a mind. <laughs> Well, I'm only you, half done. I know, <laughs> you, I know. You, you, uh, you came back in later, didn't you? So yeah, I came back later. Okay. No, I've got not, to finish it. It's not finished, but it's looking good. Thank you. you can show us next week. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I enjoyed that, Tony. Very good. Not sure I did. <laughs> No. <laughs> I made the mess, but still enjoyed it. I think uh, we've got fairly mixed opinion about it. Oh, Anne, let's see. Let's see. Closer, Anne. Mm. Right. Okay. No, that's that's pretty good, Anne. Mm. Yes, I like yes. that. Thank you. Um, I, I, I I thought my background wasn't too detailed, and I followed your sketching, so I uh, hadn't sketched it in advance. So yeah. so this is just off the cuff. But I'm um, quite well, pleased with that's it. The best way to do it. The best know. way to do it. Yeah. Thank really. you. Yeah. Thank you. Very well. Uh, Denise. It's still on the board because I'm going to have to go back and finish it. But all right. Well, it looks pretty good so far, Denise. Yeah. It's more the detail in the background I haven't got, like the bridge arches and things. Yeah. Don't overdo it though, because what you've the done. The water's was... almost overdone. I want to take some more out of the water a little bit. Mm. I like it just as it is, Denise. <laughs> oh, I'll leave that bit then. Really? <laughs> really? Sometimes you've got to make that decision. Really? You're and, uh, it, being calm. It, it looks pretty well finished to me. Uh, mm. Andrea? Come here, darling. Okay. Oh. Andrea. Now, there isn't a lot of distinction between the two halves of the river. So I think the, the right hand half needs uh, some. Some more dark lines to indicate it tumbling down. Okay. But, but you know, pretty. You choose because it's pretty good as it is. Okay. Thanks. Right. Oh. All right, Lindsay. Let's see. Keep it still. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just off to one side, Lindsay. That's right. Sorry. Straighten it up now. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that, Lindsay. Very good. I, I, I found the water really difficult to make, you know, to make well, it look like are. water. Yeah, it's not it's, easy. No. Well, <laughs> but, but, she's, and, but Lindsay's got that, that lovely tumbling effect. Yeah. You know, the water coming down, which is quite difficult. You mm -hmm. did really well. Okay. No one else is waving the pictures about. I'm going to uh, attend to these arch, the bridge arches. I did paint them, but it's just it's just dried and it's ah, it looks daft. So uh, I'll sort that out and I'll put it on the uh, recording. 
Hello. Okay. I I just want to show you quick um, my work. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for. Oh, Abba. I made I made a mistake just now. Okay. Uh, it's fine. You were hiding then. <laughs> I was hiding. Oh, lovely, Abba. That's really nice. That's lovely. Yes, it is. Oh. It is. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you've you. got the, the motion of the water. Very well done there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I'm just trolling around for look, looking for more, more adventurous people. <laughs> I'll show you mine again if you want. To. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's very know. generous of you, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, uh, actually, I, I made a mistake at the top of the sky here. How oh. I, can, I can fix it? Well, <laughs> it, it's not so easy. You'll, you'll always see a, a remnant of it, but you can try with just clean water, maybe with a little bit of soap. Okay. And a, and a dry towel and just, and just dab it off as best you can. Um, usually end up with errors in the sky with uh, sea Come on. A flock of albatrosses or something like that. Mm. Uh, right. Quick before somebody else pops up. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's me. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got two chats here. Somebody been chatting. All right. Ooh. Yeah, I've sent you the link to the historic dockyards, Tony. Oh, thank you. All Is that right. Chatham? Yes. No, okay. chat. Can I uh, access access that any time? You need to do it whilst you're still online, so it's, it's probably best to sort of cut and paste it into a um, onto the internet, or you'll just be able to look again probably when you... Uh, right, so I've copied you... the link. I've copied the link. Yeah. So just stick it in an email or, or onto a new tab on the internet. Righty ho, thank you. No worries. So let's see, let's have a quick. How'd you get out of Zoom to do that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll uh, stop <laughs> recording. So with a with a with a grand announcement, recording will cease. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 